Going back to the car again. It was smelling of petrol, dripping and hissing. I was afraid it might catch fire, so I forced the door open. What happened? You just had a bit of an accident. Now, can you tell me what your name is? Lady. I felt for a pulse on the passenger, but I couldn't find one. There was, there was no sign of life at all. But there was glass in the car. Yeah. But I remember blood and glass on the floor of the car. Where did it all come I'll from? Find out, lady. Just wait here for a minute, all right? Come on, please, someone help! Her head had obviously been thrown back by the force of this pole coming in directly onto her face. Thank Christ it wasn't bloody daylight, that's all I can say. My bag, it must be still there. No, get it in a minute. Oh my God. Oh my God, my fingers in my mouth! Oh my God, my fingers in my mouth! Don't you bloody duck me! The frightening thing about it, the fact that she was dead was actually a bloody blessing. So right, I phoned the police and they're gonna be here in a minute. Everything's gonna be all right. The following morning, I went out there and society had just cleared up the mess. <laughs> it was an extraordinary sensation, yet a human life had disappeared there. And you just felt there should be something there that actually proved the point. But there was nothing. 